I have tested hundreds of thousands of trading strategies in my career, and this is the framework I use every single time. My name is Nathan, and after working as a quantitative analyst for multiple firms, I thoroughly believe that if you don't employ a backtesting framework that covers these key steps, you are guaranteed to lose in trading. This framework prevents you from falling into the overconfidence trap and understand how effective your trading strategy is before you ever place a single trade. This will prevent you from losing money that you weren't expecting to lose, and it will also point you in the right direction as to where to improve your trading strategy once you find out what specifically is wrong with it. First, load in the data. I have access to some pretty advanced data myself, but for learning purposes, there are some incredible free resources like Yahoo Finance and the Federal Reserve Economic Database's API. Once you have the initial data loaded in, add the relevant information to your trading strategy. In this example, let's add the money flow index and Bollinger Bands. We can use global variables to determine the parameters for each of these technical indicators. After that, define your strategy. Regardless of how you choose to use these indicators or additional information, you make a column that denotes a positive one for instances where you want to be long and a negative one for going short. Leave this column as zero if it doesn't present a good trade. And for test your strategy. Multiply the daily cumulative returns of the asset by the numbers defined in your strategy column. Compare the cumulative returns of your strategy to any benchmark that you like, because in my opinion, if your strategy isn't outperforming a simple buy and hold strategy of a diversified index, you're better off not trading. I use the S&P 500. Now, this last step oversimplifies the testing process. And in future episodes, I will be taking you through how to effectively test your strategy to ensure that it will continue working going forward if you can find a pattern that outperforms over the course of your test period. But if you're still backtesting by hand or looking manually on any screen you're using to trade, it's guaranteed that you're going to unnecessarily overfit to whatever small amount of data you're capable of looking at. If you're choosing to trade without employing an advanced backtesting framework like this, it's only a matter of time before you lose the game that is trading. So until next time, stay sharp.